All right then, so now it's time to create this React app on the front end. So the first thing we wanna do is grab our console and I'm just gonna right click and start a new console over here, a new tab, because I like to keep our GraphQL server running in the background so we can always query it in the future. So we'll right click, go to new console and press start. Then we need to CD into this directory, the GraphQL playlist. So I'll just right click and copy the full path so I can just paste it over here because I'm super lazy. So CD to change directory, paste that in, then we're in the correct directory. Now this is where we wanna create our React app. But before we do that, we need to install that package, create React app. So we'll say npm install and then create hyphen React app. And then you wanna pass the global flag, so hyphen G, that's gonna install it globally onto your computer so we can use it from any directory whatsoever. All right, cool. So once that's installed, we can use it to create this application. So we just say create react hyphen app. Then we give this app or project folder a name. Now I'm gonna call this client, okay? And the reason I'm calling this client is because it's gonna contain all of our client side project code. So we have a folder over here called server. We're also gonna have a folder in this directory called client, right? So we're splitting up the server code from the client code. And essentially they're gonna be kind of two separate projects and the client is gonna be querying the server, all right? So let us now run this command just gonna take a couple of minutes to create this kind of boilerplate React application for you. You can already see this client folder right here, but like I say, we'll just take a couple of minutes to fully create that application. So I'll see you in a minute when it's done. All right then, so that has successfully created this application for us. And if we expand the client folder, we're gonna see it's populated now with a load of different files and folders. We'll explore those in a minute. But first of all, if we open back up the terminal, we can see that we have now access to a few different commands inside the client directory. So we have npm start, which is gonna start the development server, npm run build, which is gonna bundle the app into static files for production, etc. So we're primarily just gonna be concerned about this npm start one to start a development server and serve up our front end application. Before we do that, we need to cd into client. So cd client, now we're inside the client folder, we can say npm, start and this is going to start up a development server to serve up our application all right so hopefully in a second it's going to open up in a browser and it looks something like this cool so this is our front end application right and it's being served up from a development server which is listening to port 3000 now contrast that to our graphql server which is listening to port 4000 so we have two servers on the go here, right? It's not all one application. We don't have GraphQL server also serving up our React app on the front side. Nope, that's not the case. We have a GraphQL server as a separate entity listening to port 4000, listening for requests. And we also have a development server listening to port 3000, which is serving up our React application, right? So these are two separate things. And yeah, in the future, if we wanted to build this up for production, this project, this front end project, we could have it served from the same express server. But for the sake of this tutorial, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it simple and keep these two things separate, okay? So remember, the ultimate goal here is to query from this front end application, our GraphQL server, all right? And then retrieve information from that and display in some kind of application on the front end. So that's what we're aiming to do. Now to do that in our console, we're gonna need the GraphQL server at all times running on port 4000 over here. And in our other tab, we're gonna need to be running our development server to serve up this React application. So we need those two tabs on the go, right? Okay, so let's just have a little peek at this code that it's created for us inside the client folder. So first of all, we have the node modules, which are all the different dependencies that we need to run this application on the front end, right? So a load of stuff in there. Don't need to worry too much about that. We also have a public folder for serving kind of public files, including the index.html file. And this is the file which is initially served, right? But our React application is injected right here into the root div. That's how React works, right? It injects content dynamically. So we have that. 
Then we have the source folder here, which is where all of our React code is going to go. And the file which is first kicked off is this index.js. And you'll notice we have a bit of import stuff at the top, and then we have this React DOM.render. And what we're doing is we're re uh, rendering the root application, which we're importing right here, right? So that root kind of component right there is this thing, app.js. So this is the stuff that's being rendered into the index file, which we saw in the browser, that React logo and the little welcome spiel below. All that kind of stuff is inside here. Now, there's a couple of things I just want to get rid of that I don't want to wor uh, worry about for the sake of this tutorial. So let's just get rid of this stuff, this stuff down here. I'm also going to get rid of a couple of things in the root component. So let's go to app.js and get rid of this CSS file. Now app.css is just the CSS for this component. We're going to be using index.css for this uh, series. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we also don't need the logo up there. So let's get rid of that. And a lot of this stuff we're going to delete as well. Everything inside the div. Let's save that for now. We can get rid of app.css over here. So let's delete that. And also let's delete app.test.js because we don't need that for this series. And let's get rid of this service worker and logo.svg as well. Okay, so let's just keep it simple. That's the reason I'm doing this. I don't want to overwhelm you with different files because this is not going to be an extensive React course. I'm just showing you how to use Apollo with React so we can make GraphQL queries from the front end. All right. If you need a refresh on React, I've got a series on this channel. You can check out the link is down below or feel free to check out any other tutorial on YouTube as well. All right, so now we have this root component now, which is being rendered to the DOM. Now it's got a class name of app, but I'm going to get rid of that and just give this an ID and call it main. All right, this is for kind of stylistic purposes later on. So we have this div now and we could just place some content inside there. We'll put a H1 and I'll say something like ninjas reading list. Oops, list. All right, good, good. I cannot do this list. Right, H1. So let's save that now. And if we check this out in the front end, it's going to look something like this now. All right. So I said a minute ago that we're just going to use index.css to control all of our CSS. So let's just play around with this a tiny bit. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. And instead, I'll just say the background is going to be EEE, -E -E, which is kind of like a light gray. And then also the font family is going to be something called in quotations, Nunito semi bold. All right, so you may not have this font installed on your computer. If not, just use Arial or something like that. This is a font that I like that I've got installed on my computer, so it will work. All right, so again, let's just check this out in a browser, and you can see the font has changed and also the background color. So now we have our basic React app up and running. In the next tutorial, we'll take it a little bit further and create a component to list out our different books.